guys. So I'm in the middle of, well no, let's back up. The room's still an absolute mess, the, the art room here. And instead of putting the bookcase in this space here, I'm going to put this uh, refurbished dresser. Unfortunately, when I painted it and um, gave it some love when the old neighbors gave it to us before they moved, um, I never finished or sealed it. And the top is atrocious. So I'm going to try very hard to give it a coat of love with my uh, polycrylic protective finish here and I've scrubbed it up as best I can and I'm hoping some of that comes back and we are just going for a very very quick brush job here on account of um, all my computer stuff, the shelves that it's on, I need in the back room where I stole this from I decided to go with this because it has four huge drawers which should help um, storage wise and the bookcase that I've got back there is, um, well, it's tiny, honestly. It works perfect for that back room because there's not a lot of space back there. But for what I need, I just don't think it's quite going to cut it. Oh, I hope that stays pretty. <sighs> okay. Yeah, this top, I don't know if you're going to be able to see anything on this angle at all anyway. And I'm going to have to do some creative editing, I think. Um... But this top, all I did for this, this dresser was um, sanded it and, uh, or give it a light sanding. Um, and on the top, I used the copper, metallic copper color that I like, and the, the brown red or whatever they call it. Um, when it was dry, I just went over it with some of the, uh, I think it's a stain actually, a, a black stain to give it a, a wash kind of a look. And it looked great when I first did it, but I didn't have anything to seal it with. And, you know, to help dust not eat it. Because New Mexico dust is phenomenal. Now, if this doesn't make it a little better, what I will do is throw glitter on it. And just make it a ridiculously crafty top. Because glitter. Oh, I should have done that before. Oh, goodness. But yeah, the art room, I've actually got a bunch of stuff done, or um, the next phase of whichever project's done. So that's good, but I've given myself a week as of Tuesday. It's now Saturday. Um, this, thankfully, won't take long to dry because it's warm inside today. Okay, that should dry clear and be fabulous, hopefully. Just make sure it's even. Um, I don't know if we'll do one or two coats, but we'll see. We'll see how she looks. Poor thing. It's the hard part about having a seriously tight budget. You just... doesn't seem to be that you get anything finished the way it ought to be. You do the best you can for now. And you have, still have to come back later when you can. But that's not the plan forever, so we'll do what we got to do for now. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, I'll let that dry, see if she needs an extra coat. No, it looks pretty good though. I'll take it. Yeah, the plan was to move that, the computer stuff and shelf out at the same time as I put this in, so that I could just move the computer stuff over and slip that shelf completely out. That is still the plan. Excuse the hammer. Okay. But yeah, I tell you what, this whole project, um, the way I've done it is completely different than normal, and it's been excellent but it's also been bad because there's so much now and it gets worse before it gets better it seems but yeah it's so overwhelming i lost steam well, probably thanksgiving day i was like so over it but um 
I picked up a second wind and once this gets swapped out, because that's my big, that's the big thing, filling this hole. Um, oh, and there's dust. Dang it. Yeah. But yeah, uh, getting this one done. Actually, I should put this light on see if you can see. Well, maybe not. The sun's doing that weird angle thing. But yeah, everything's been sorted and mostly organized, and now I've just got to put everything in its new homes. But uh, this set of drawers will help for sure, because they're nice and deep. They're big, deep drawers. And these, all I did um, to clean them up was uh, I took the hardware off. I plan on changing that out someday, but I took the hardware off, sanded it all down, um, and each drawer got a different color in acrylic paint. And while it was wet, I just put um, cling wrap on it and smooshed it so it's all textured and wrinkled and it looks amazing. Um, but yeah, for Actually, I think this is a hand-me-down of a hand-me-down, but uh, it, it's it's doing good. Okay. But yeah, I wanted to update you and let you know where I'm at with my project, because it seems to be uh, everybody asking if I'm done yet keeps me accountable, so I appreciate that. Okay, I'll check in later. Love you, bye. Hey, guys, back again. So this didn't work quite as well as I'd hoped. Um, maybe a couple coats would work, but um, I, I still see um, some damaged spots where I've had coasters or um, hot tea cups sitting there. Um, it's still a touch tacky, but what I'm going to do um, is add glitter because life's better with glitter I've decided and I've got this new pack of teeny tiny glitters hopefully you can see them um, let's see what color do we want oh my god that one that one it's a coppery color I should mix them all together that would be fantastic there's a black one as well how cool is that oh they're all stuck well, they packaged them well. That's nice to know. I got these at Walmart. The mister actually saw them. And uh, I had to pick them up because they were like two bucks. A little less than two bucks. Oh yeah, that's um, what, a coffee colored glitter maybe? I don't know what you call it. But I'm going to mix that with my current um, glitter glue mess here, right, find my pocket knife, oh, I'm having a day, <laughs> and I'm going to use all of it, I believe, because why not, yeah, oh my gosh, luscious, ooh, get in there, okay, um, let's see what I have on hand since this room is torn apart. Oh, that's a mess. No, that won't work at all. Um, well, goodness, I will use my chopstick for my glue mix pouring stuff. Yes. Yes. Now, what will happen is, once this layer is dry, um... I will come back with more of the acrylic finish and it will crackle because it will be over the, the glue which makes lovely crackle. And you know what we're going to do? I think we're just going to pour that on and... Hmm, let's see. Oh, yep, yep. Got a card handy. Now this is really thin, so... Which helps me figure out the dilemma of what to use the last of that glitter glue on since I'm in between all my projects. Let's see how much of this I can get all over the place. Oh my gosh, it's going to be awesome. And I don't even care if it's even... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Is 
This is one of those do as I say, not as I do projects. Because <laughs> if you do this, I cannot be responsible for the outcome. It's going to be a mess. And I'm good with that. Obviously, if I was actually restoring furniture, this is not how I would do it at all. But most of this is going to be covered with computer stuff and notebooks and just random crap, so yeah, I'm not worried about it at all. If you don't have any of these, um, you get them in the automotive department at Walmart. Um, Bunnings might have them if you're in Australia. I don't know what other houseware type stores. You know, like Home Depot or Lowe's or, or Bunnings or whatever anybody else has. But they're actually um, for spreading Bondo if you're doing um, uh, panel repair and stuff on vehicles. Which I used to play with, but I don't anymore, thank goodness. It's a pain in the butt. I do like to make metal very shiny, however. And cleaning up engines is kind of my specialty. Yeah, this is all completely uneven now. But the Bondo spreaders, normally I get them in a uh, three pack and they come in different widths. I think this is the medium one, if I remember correctly. But they're amazing for this type of thing. Not close to the edge, I want that to get. There we go. That. I won't get glitter all over my shirt. Of course, it wouldn't be the first time. Oh, I almost want to do an acrylic pour on this. But I don't have that kind of time as it is. This is going to take most of the afternoon to dry. Okay, now I'm just dicking with it. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Alrighty. I'll leave that right there, ridges and all, and I'll probably take uh, some sandpaper, knock off the, the tallest bits, or maybe I want, maybe I'll just pour um, a topping on there and, and it should fill in pretty good as well. Alright, um, oh my gosh, glittery, glittery goodness. Ah, it's magical. <laughs> Alright. That's where we're at with that. I will check in after a bit and give you a close-up. Okay, love you, bye. sweeties look I still have a table of mess <laughs> I thought I would update you I'm in the middle of um, pours and stuff for Christmas cards still and organizing this table my craft table still looks like this well okay it's different than it was <laughs> um, this stuff here I'm about to bust out the top one's got to be put away um, and then I don't know if you saw Dee Dee Willingham's syllables um, videos. I will try and remember to link those below. Um, but I found a binder. I've been sorting, organizing, finding every sheet of plastic envelope that I can so that I can do that. And I, I'll do that, um, or at least flip through that when I get it going. Um, I've set up books for planners. All these, this pile of stuff here is, um, well, it, it's Christmas pop card projects that um, I will do video on or continue to do. I've been doing stages as I go. This is off-cut scraps. This is for tag making. Um, this is all stuff that I've collected um, as I've gone through my room. It's insane. Speaking of my room, I know it doesn't look that fabulous. Um, I've still got to 
find a home for this. Some of that's going to be painty papers in the next couple days. I have Christmas presents started down here. I did put my books here and restacked all my stuff. I've gotten a bunch of stuff done. Um, you know, stained papers, made envelopes, that kind of thing. This box I still have to sort and organize. Um, and this stuff will need a home. But we're getting somewhere. This pile is all books for collage and um, magazine type stuff to use as painting papers. I set up, I don't know if I showed you before, um, I set, um, this is a Keurig uh, drawer, um, using it to hold pens and stuff and it works really well. Um, but I set my drawers in here. Um, I stole these out of the back room because they weren't being used. Um, they're makeover drawers that a friend of ours gave us, and I think they were hand-me-downs when she got them. So they're they're pretty rowdy. They're they're getting old, um, but they've been refinished and everything, and they're holding works in progress. I don't like where this is sitting currently for Big Blue, but um, I'm going to move it. I think. But yeah, they, they're they're pretty rowdy these drawers, but they work. Um, I did finish the top and tried to get video, but it was all Kitty Wampus, so I'll see if um, I can rescue any of that or not. Under the table, I put the little bookcase at the end there, and I've got to um, finish putting stuff in it. Um, I've decided to keep my box O collage here. It works just fine, and that way I will actually work on it. And this, um, the green box there, is all... Um, the, the front half of it is works in progress, and the back half of it is books to use for collage um, or to alter. Um, I somewhat reorganized my, my bookcase over there. Oh, I added the boxes, um, my big boxes at the, the end of the table there. I put them sideways. They're holding stuff that I use sometimes, but I don't need all the time. Um, the biggest reason I used those there was the top. I've put the, um, let's see, let's wander over here. Oh, my trash can now has a home. It will live under here when it's not being used as will my chair and there's my my uh drawer er, drawers good lord i've lost my mind i was up till two this morning doing christmas card stuff um shelves little bitty shelves but that's stuff that i need sometimes but not all the time but these i decided all my um like i'd put the uh all the journals in a, a tub that I have no idea where the lid is, but I, I didn't have the heart to throw out the tub, so it's up here. Um, little things like um, paper clips. Um, it's just a leftover jar, and normally I put a new label on them or something, but this made me laugh because it's better than bouillon. So um, paper clips are better than bouillon. <laughs> um, this is all my little quick grab stuff with my... You see me using these bulldog clips all the time. And I found, I completely forgot I had, a bucket of um, little tubes of paint. That's what I started with. So um, there's not a lot in these, but I think I can water them down and use them for painty papers. And then I've got my, my little bucket of um, makeup sponges and baby wipes. There's my, uh, my little fairy that uh, Sammy did for me and the gnome. Here's my mess here. It still looks messy. Um, there's not a lot, unless I get different storage buckets and bins, which I may do eventually. It's not in the budget yet, but stuff that stacks better or whatever. But I am happy that that um, you know my my art pieces and and whatever have a home. So I'm tickled about that. And this is um, um, all my bulk stuff and whatever anyway. So. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Okay. And in here, I started, but um, this is not finished by far. 
and I'm pretty sure I'm rolling this camera because it's round so there's like nowhere to hold it really good but um yeah I just used some of these we'd gotten from Walmart at you know back to school time a few years back for the kids uh, for the grandbabies um, and we've redone the back room so many times it's ridiculous so we're not using them anymore but you you just stack them they don't hold a lot of weight before they start bowing but um I needed a home for my art journals and stuff especially since I'm going to repurpose them well okay I shouldn't say repurpose um like like this one this is my very very first one I did it in a composition notebook and the poor thing it's just it's just that that's before I knew about you know work in the front work in the back work in the middle um so yeah I pretty much addict the spine on that one so I'm going to fix them and love them and um this one's two uh, mixed media books glued together um, at the spine, and yeah, it's that was not a good plan. I thought it'd be cool, and it worked, so I'll take it. But yeah, it really needs some help now. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got some little stuff in here and stuff to finish stacking and putting away as I go. And this, I don't know if you guys know this trick, um, you take a shoe organizer and you can use it full or whatever, stick it on a door. Um, I've cut mine into three chunks, I've got them just pinned to the, the closet doors and they work amazingly for keeping stuff out of the way but where you can see it and get it. That's the biggest thing for me, I would have, you know, a big fancy, um, actually I'd like tables about the size of the, the height of the windowsill or right under the windowsill that would be amazing all the way around and then storage closed off storage where you can't see everything but I wouldn't use anything at least now I can see it um, even out of the corner of my eye if I'm working on something and I can go oh yeah I know what's in that box or have a, a good idea that you know that's ephemera or whatever um, speaking of I do need to get um, another tote or two and go through my little um, two dollar cheapy fabric drawers there um, I've got mark making stuff I've got ephemera and um, journal stuffing type things and um, I think one of them's lace and ribbons and stuff it's it's pitiful um, but there's not a lot in there. I needed somewhere to start collecting. Um, and I haven't really built on it since. So, um, but those I think need to be uh, reorganized or, or redone completely. Um, I do have a new pin. Uh, pin. Good lord! I do have a new paint bucket thing. That, or I swapped out one of my other ones for the little box that I was using. I'm going to try that. I don't like the idea of just throwing them all in there. But, um, it should work. I've seen people do it and it looks just fine. Um, I guess I just don't want to dig all the way through paint, you know, to, to find a color that I want. Um, so I might have to redo that. But, yeah, I need to fix my, my selfie camera stick. You want to see something ghetto? <laughs> Look, see how we've got that pinned in there? Normally, it sits flush in that little hole there but here lately it's got a mind of its own and just moves so I stuff a box in that space there but once in a while the box comes let's see this one it's, it's this box here it's from my uh Zyron creator sticker the smaller one well I should say the medium one let's see this one it's amazing this thing um but normally I wedge this box in there just so so I need to do that again I don't, well, it probably wiggles out every time I touch the, the selfie stick and put the camera on it. Uh, the top needs to be organized a little better, and the top up here, I've decided um, I'm going to pull these out and put them in either this closet or the freestanding one, but this will mostly be my drying racks for um, paint pours and stuff. I just have to get um, something... Uh, chunk of wood or something to um, level that out because it, it bows somewhat. But yeah, that's where I'm at on the room update. 
So yeah, still crazy busy and a bunch of projects so about to bust out and I'll do videos for those for you. Um, I have, okay, let's see if I can cover this just so. I do have um, happy mail that came in for the winner winner chicken dinner from Jane, and I'm sorry Jane, I'm going to butcher your name, Sassalos? Or Sasalos, I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It, it's a cool name, though. Um, so that's the most recent one that I've got in. Um, and I'll do a video towards the end of the week, uh, probably Friday or Saturday, after the mails come, so I can make sure we're, everybody's updated. Um, and I might just do a flip through and play with all the stuff in there, because it's so exciting. It's so much fun. But yeah, this is my mess. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Um, so yeah. This is where we're at. I'll be doing projects on these. I almost don't have the heart to cut this one up, but we're going to. That was the plan. Oh, oh! I also have to work on Secret Santa stuff, but I won't be doing any of that on camera, I don't think. Or if I do, I won't um, put it up until after I send that stuff off. Alright, loves. I am going to let this video be, and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye-bye.